Hi, I'm Terry. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, and more importantly, please like the video. Uh, that really helps. This is a common problem. It's confusing for locksmiths. It's the lorry or the caba. This is a single cylinder deadbolt, so it has key on the outside, thumb turn on the inside. It's a one inch bolt. Now what, and it throws locksmiths. One of the problems is you can put any mortise cylinder in this. So you could say, say the customer could say, or you're looking at it, say, oh, I have a slage deadbolt, or I have a quick set, or I have a Corbin, uh, because you can put any mortise cylinder. It could be a Medico in here. It could be a high security lock. Uh, you'll see why when we take this off. But it confuses because you traditionally you have the thumb. So the way of seeing this lock, first of all, is, and you could run across a double cylinder deadbolt key on both sides, and we'll have another video on that. So this is the single cylinder. What usually happens is they remove these two screws. What you have to do, you have to remove this plate, but I'll show you what, what you run across right off the bat. So you think, oh, I got a single cylinder deadbolt, there's my two screws. I just, let's just remove the screws. So I remove the two screws, take it out, and then look what you got here. You just go, oh my goodness, you know, hey, what do I have here? This is a lorry slash caba Ilco. So uh, it has various names on the boxes. We just call them lorries, uh, single cylinder deadbolt. So what we have here is a housing. And what's more importantly, you can't, nothing comes out from here. What you have to do is you have to take apart the faceplate on the strike. To remove the cylinder, we have to use a longer Allen key or Allen wrench. We have to go in about that far to get the set screw, so you need the long one. So what you do is you take your Allen key, put it all the way to the end. Now I, I like it, but you can have it with the bolt out or bolt in. I like it with the bolt in. I'm okay with it like that. And I take my key halfway out let, and get it in there. Them in there and then you go left to loosen you don't take it out all the way just loosen it up then we can now we can unscrew the mortise cylinder so here's my mortise lock and it's got an Adams right cam on the back so it's a mortise cylinder with an Adams right cam so you can see the little set screw goes all the way to the back there so when you want to rekey it, you can remove the mortise cylinder. So put your spacer, your little spring, and there's our mortise cylinder. And don't cross thread this, just don't never force on this lorry lock or even your Adams Wright's aluminum storefronts. It's, it's all about the same thing. So again, we put it till I think that's about there. Then right to tighten. We'll put the set screw back in there and just finger tight. Take it out. Let's check it. Make sure we got the length right. If it's any binding, we either have to go in another turn or out another turn. So again, pretty simple. Uh, it's a confusing for beginners. And if you haven't run across it for a long time, uh, you, this is how one way you tell it is by looking down the sides. You'll see where you have to take your Allen wrench. And you'll also see when you take off the inside thumb turn, uh, you see this housing here. And it, it reinstalls pretty, pretty simple. The thumb turn has to be vertical. Put the tailpiece in there. Again, we, we don't really like these locks. Um, 35 years ago, they were like, wow, this is cool. I can put anything in it. Test, test it, test it with the key again. Right here is where the set screw, you can see it coming out there. So that's basically what's holding in the mortise cylinder. Same, similar, very similar to an aluminum storefront. Yeah, there's the, the groove. So our set screw has to lock in there and it stops 
you from screwing the lock out. So again, any mortise cylinder, these are pretty standard. It could be a one inch, inch and an eighth. And it could be any keyway you want from regular residential right up to high security and commercial. But don't let this fool you. I would not install this lock. Uh, we run across them because there's lots out there. Would I use these? No. There's a better solutions uh, that's easier to install and more reliable long term. Sometimes I run across some of the problems I have with this. Sometimes these set screws are rusted in. Weather seems to rust them up quite a bit. The set screws can be uh, rusted right in. Also, I have run across people have uh, rounded out the set screw because they've used the wrong size Allen key, Allen wrench. They've, they've worn them out. They've rounded out the holes. They put them so tight and then they rust in. I've seen people use Loctite on these, which you don't do it. Not a lock I would recommend. But we run across it, customer has it. We're gonna rekey it, throw it back together again. If it's got all any problems, we would just replace it. So this is the Ilco Lori Caba style deadbolt. It's mostly called the Lori single cylinder deadbolt. It's not that difficult to rekey. It's just that you have to have a long reach Allen wrench. So not difficult. Hope you enjoyed the video. Good luck when you run across these. It's not that difficult. It's just a bit of a pain. Okay, have a good day. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Subscribe to my channel. Also, visit my website and you can see what online locksmith training I have for beginners, intermediate, and advanced, as well as my covert methods of entry and my non-destructive methods of entry.